Um, I just wanted to show you um, my Toga Starburst baboon. She's out. Where is she at? Oh, there we go. Looking right at her. I don't think she knew she's on the film. I got the uh, night vision on because it's dark in there where she's at. Uh, it's shaded wood area in her Ropsy style enclosure, arboreal. Um, I'll zoom out actually and show you what her her enclosure looks like real quick. There it is. I'm not going to open it because she'll scramble away when you get a little more footage of her before I close. Mm -hmm. That's her. I've already been feeding her a little bit. You can see she's plumper than she was in the last video. Uh, so is the male. I'm not going to show him. He's, his uh, cage is pretty misty. I don't feel like opening it and might try to scramble out. But uh, hey, that's her. I, they sold me a really nice one. There's one of two that they had. This was the better looking one. I couldn't really see the other one. And I do have my fair certainty again that this is a female. It only looks like she only has two eyes. You really, really can't see her other two. That's one thing I noticed on uh, other Toga Starburst videos. They look like they only have two eyes. They do have, I think, eight. Uh, the other ones are really, really small. It's a different arrangement, I think, than uh, like a Brachypelma or any other species that I've seen. Um, they have like two primary eyes. Um, you can tell the rear legs are very stout, quite stout segment in, which uh, aids in those really. <laughs> Heart stopping uh, straight jumps that they do um, when they're excited. Um, this has to be one of my favorite tarantulas now that I uh, got it. I tried to handle it last night, but it was too shy, it ran away when I tried to gently prod it with my forceps uh, toward my hand. But um, yeah, I know it's kind of a little dangerous to handle these, but um, uh, I'm pretty brave. I mean, you know, as long as it's not life threatening, I can handle it. Um, but anyway, that's my new Togo. Glad you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye. Alright, hello uh, again. Um, this is kind of like part two. I'm going to have it as a connection now for like uh, uploading two videos separately. So I'm going to make this like the uh, second little segment of one uh, one single video. Um, I'm going to show you the interior of my Toga Starburst thing. If she runs away, I already got footage her from the thing. She's staying still uh, on the side of the woods. So I don't think she's going to scramble. She's very shy, so I don't think she's going to run toward me towards me, she's more likely going to run back deeper into the enclosure. Anyway, this is uh, the interior of mine. Got live pathos in there. Um, yeah, it might help a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> that didn't work. That's stupid. Um, okay. Uh, I made this like middle of April and it looks good. The plants are doing alright. Um, keep a humidity gauge in there. Stays at about 70% humidity is what they recommend. Um, to give you a little um, I guess tour of it, uh, her burrow goes, there's her little den, it's not really a burrow at all, uh, goes in the side of the bark and uh, her her den is underneath the water dish if you can see it 
a little, it's the bottom of a uh, water bottle. You can see it in there. It's that shiny. You can see it. I don't want to get myself caught up. She's very fast. She's really made herself at home in here. So this is uh, spider territory. I don't know if you can see it very well. Oh, it'd be better. I just turned off the mic pick set. That's better. See the webbing a lot better. And uh, colors. Oh yeah, that's better. That's a lot better. Yeah. Anyway, um, I uh, decided to leave um, the uh, dead fall leaves at the bottom. Makes them look more look more natural. Um, and let them rot as a natural um, compost. That's what would uh, happen in the wild. The leaves would just lay there. I don't want to make it look too clean. I mean, you know, if you went to an exhibit, you would see them trying to make it look as natural as possible. Um, one thing I will try to work on is uh, patch up some moss over some of the glue that just kind of fell. I mean, I do plant, try to plant pothos, and you can't really see it that well. It's a lot of my uh, messy areas are kind of tucked away. Um, I'm really glad I was able to show you a video of her out and about, because she doesn't come out much. Um, and really that's all I really have to say about that. Um, <coughs> oh, um, before I go, I'm going to show you my, uh, Brachypelma Amelia's new cage. I need to fix the lid. I'll do that in another video and I'll show you the new lid. Actually, I'm not going to show you to you now. I'm supposed to, we'll connect, to, make a connection to this one. Here it is. It's, uh... This is one I was telling uh, Rob to see about my uh, desert version of his uh, terrestrial enclosure. There she is, Brachypelma amelia, and I do not know. I, it's very possibly it's a male. That was in my arachnotor video. These are the air plants I was telling him about. They are not rooted into the substrate. They are just you just pull them out. They're like plugs. Just pull them out. I just kind of pushed them down a little bit so they look like they're growing out of the soil. I mixed um, eco earth and excavator substrate to make it somewhat um, somewhat dry, somewhat damp, so it holds humidity a bit better than uh, just plain uh, excavator. Excavator gets very dry when it's wet, and the uh, cocoa fiber is going to probably help maintain some humidity. Uh, I do need to mist it finally today. I'll definitely do that once I finish this video. But uh just wanted to show you the video. Um, for the backdrop, uh, was a different mixture. It was um, excavator and uh, reptile, white reptile sand. I mixed that up. It was mostly uh, excavator substrate. I patched that in to the foam. Um, same foam that Rob uses pretty much. See it? I don't know if you can see a little bit at the top. But there's a little bit of pink exposure. Eh, not really. Thank God. It looks terrible up there. <laughs> kind of, it's kind of peeled away. Oh, there's a little bit in the in the ground. I'll have to clean that up. But um, anyway, that's that. We're on the side. It's kind of a kind of a good view from the side too. Anyway, that's uh, what I wanted to show you with that. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks. Peace.